Welcome to Walrus Cast, a podcast where we like to talk about people, well, talk to people who know things about stuff. I am sitting here right now at Animarathon 2015 with a good friend of mine who is uh, self proclaimed the Archduke of Awesome and uh, is also a wonderful artist and a good friend. I would like to in- introduce to the Walrus Cast soapbox, Cat Foley. Hi, I'm Cat Foley. I'm the Archduke of Awesome. <laughs> I decided that of my own free will. <laughs> uh, so, tell tell the audience, Cat, how did we meet? Um, what? Uh, two years ago now, because ZipCon just happened. Yeah, that's um, crazy. <laughs> yeah, a couple years ago, I was um, invited to be a part of a Homestuck Ask panel at ZipCon, uh, which is an Akron convention. I ended up because I wanted to be Car Cat, but I ended up uh, I, have, I ended up being Cankry, which was the first time I ever cosplayed Cankry. And uh, I was looking for a ride, and I just so happened to end up being in the car full of like half of the other ancestors that actually came to the <laughs> Ask panel. So that was fun. Oh um, god, I remember that. You were now. Horus, and I, I was, was Cankry, Horus. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as I recall, the other two that were in there that were ancestors were. Uh, no, they were Dancestors, excuse me. No, yeah, me. sorry. Well, the Dancestors. <laughs> <laughs> they were Mina and... Um, uh, Curlos. We yeah, had, Curlos, Mina Curlos. And Curlos with us. Yes. And we also had the Feffery as well. Well, yeah, we had Feffery as well. But, you know, uh, she, she kind of counted because... But she wasn't a Dancestor, so... Right, yeah. right. And, uh, well, you mentioned that we met at cons. What, what cons do you frequent? Um... I've gone to Colossal Con every year since 2009. Impressive. Um, I've gone to three or four Ohio Cons by now. This is my second Animarathon. I used to go to Erie Anime Experience when that was a thing, which I don't think many people even know that that was ever a thing. <laughs> it only, I think it only actually happened for maybe four years. I don't think it's still going. Um, God, what else do I even go to? I've been to a few cons here and there. I went to Yoma last two years, but only for a day. And I went to... Did I go to Shimboku two years ago? I might have. I don't remember. It's, 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 long, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. I, let's see. I've been to Animarathon every year since my eighth grade year, I think. Which was 2009, I think. Oh, okay, also, I've been to ZipCon. Ah, I yes. ZipCon last year and this year, the two years that it's happened, so there's that, too. <laughs> I actually skipped out on ZipCon this year. Uh, I had work. I understand that. <laughs> um, let's see, and I've also been to ColossalCon a handful of times. Now, uh, this time around, what cosplay are you wearing? Um, right now, I am in a God-tier car cat, though technically it's um, just a super lazy human stuck. Um, <laughs> I have the full costume. Obviously, I can paint, and I already have the horns and everything, but um, I was busy all day doing things that were not uh, really pertaining full to cosplay. Uh, and so I decided that it was not worth graying myself. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's a lot of work anyway. Yeah, it's like a good half an hour to put on makeup that no one's really going to be seeing, so... <laughs> exactly, and that's why I didn't go as a troll this year either. Because mm-hmm. literally my only Homestuck cosplays are trolls. <laughs> I have a couple humans, but eh, this is more fun. <laughs> well, at the time that I was uh, doing uh, Homestuck cosplay, I was still with a group with that group of friends that you mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. and they basically snapped up all the human characters right away. Mm, yeah. Because I was the last one on to the Homestuck bandwagon, but also the first one to finish reading the story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Homestuck, how did you get into Homestuck? Oh, boy. Okay, so I've, I've, uh, I've really only actually been into Homestuck for a little over two years now. Um, it all started because... Back when it was, like, first, like, publishing in, like, Act 1, I had friends who were like, oh, man, Homestuck, you gotta read it. And I'm like, okay, so I tried it, read through a few pages, didn't get into it, stopped. Um, a couple months later, once again, you gotta read Homestuck. And so I tried reading it again, and I didn't like it again. 
And then a couple of years ago, uh, my best friend, who is coincidentally, I now refer to her as my Moirail, because she pretty much is, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like, hey, read Homestuck. And I'm like, but I tried. And she's like, well, try it again. <laughs> and so I tried it again, and I'm like, oh, man. This is so long. What is going on? And then, like, I don't even know. Something happened in, like, Act 4, and all of a sudden I couldn't stop, and my entire life was Carcat Montes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's quite a story there. <laughs> um, I, that's actually a story that I've been hearing a lot about Homestuck, too, which I find interesting. Yeah, it seems a lot of people have a hard time really getting into it just from the get-go. Um, I know quite a few people that tried reading it several times before they actually started getting into the fandom. Mm. Well, let's be honest. The first act is boring. It is very slow. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a wonder that I made it through the first act at all. <laughs> the, the, I think the thing that... um. I like to think the thing that mainly keeps it going is just the driving force of the characters themselves, because they're really interesting characters. Oh yeah, they're very well fleshed out, too. Mm -hmm. oh, gotta love all of them, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's your favorite character, then? Carcat. Carcat? Carcat is my baby. I love him a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Well, that took 0 0.8 seconds to I, answer. I don't even have to, like, think about it. <laughs> he is my child, and I will defend him to the death. <laughs> uh, all right. And how do you feel about the way that Homestuck is going? Um, I'm really excited about it, honestly. I really think that... Um, I don't know, I think the momentum that just keeps getting built up is getting a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, we're leading to some really, really big things that I'm really excited for. I'm really excited to see the 4.13 update. Even if it is the end of Homestuck, then, I mean, hopefully it'll be one hell of a train ride. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Just for posterity, this is uh, just after the Gigapause ended, and I... The Tetrapause or whatever we're calling it. Yeah, the <laughs> mini whatever thing mini the pause. pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we still we're still we still have a couple months before the four thirteen update. So. Yep. And every time I go onto that website, I'm just like, is there not? Yeah, there's still nothing. Of Wait course. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's going to be nothing. I know better than that. <laughs> God damn it, hussy. <laughs> exactly. I uh, so I. Uh, we were supposed to meet in Artist Alley, yeah. which is <laughs> admittedly an area I know very little about. So how did you get into Artist Alley? Um, me personally, I've only been in, um, like really on the Artist Alley scene for the last couple of years. This is really my second year doing it in a marathon. I haven't really done it at any other big conventions. I've done it at some small comic shows here and there. Um, honestly, it's kind of just something that, because I'm a digital arts major to begin with, and I'm kind of a person who's, I, I'm very artsy and... Personally, if I could make a living out of just selling my art, um, I'd be like the happiest person in the world. <laughs> so Artist Alley is something that, for me, is like perfect. It's it's exactly what I would like to do for actually like the rest of my life, if at all viable. Mm. But um, yeah. I really just got into it in the first place because I wanted to make money off of my art, and Artist Alley it provided a place that I could do that. There you go. I uh, and. What were the what were your main wares today? Uh, I, I almost uh, exclusively make stickers. I have some prints that I do, but I don't have a whole ton of them. Um, the stickers are my big selling point. Uh, probably my I, I ran out of Zuko from Avatar. Mm. Um, I ran out of Bill from Gravity Falls. Uh, there was at least there were a couple of Dave Sprite from Homestuck <laughs> and Markiplier. As in, like, the YouTuber market. Right, right. Those were some of my uh, fastest selling, as well as uh, the, all of the series, like, all the stickers that completely sold out today. So, I mean, at least it was pretty successful, <laughs> and I know what to be making more of in the future. <laughs> there you go. Uh, do you have anything else to tell the audience? Maybe uh, uh, Twitter to plug if you uh, well, want people to ask you questions or. Or you don't have to if you don't want oh, to. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't really have a Twitter that I use, but oh, okay. um, I'm ha I'll happily accept questions on my Tumblr, which is uh, oh so car crabby, so O-H-S-O-K-A-R-K-R-A-B-B-Y dot Tumblr dot com. 
Um, and if you're interested in any of those stickers that I brought up, uh, I have a store in via uh, I have a store in via account, and the store URL is CBK Designs. So C B K D E S I G N S, no spaces, dashes, anything like that. Dot store and dot com. I have uh, quite a few stickers up now, and I hope to be getting a lot more as well as some prints up soon. Sounds like a, quite a full list of things to do. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's uh. I'm running on four hours of sleep today. Good <laughs> grief. Didn't sleep a whole lot this whole week. Uh, I spent a lot of time just working on our style stuff. As much as I love doing it, it's not the most glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the life of a con-goer. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, oh, we're a bit short. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else can we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the way? Um, well, I don't know. Uh, what other uh, fandoms are you into? Fandoms, um, I very much love Off, the Off fandom, Off by Mortis Ghost, uh, the the video game. Okay. Um, the fandoms kind of died off quite a bit, especially since there's no fresh content coming out. I mean, it was a one-shot game, there's no planned sequel. But it's still a pretty interesting fandom, some weird shit happens and it's hilarious. Um, and I just absolutely adore the game. It's a really well-made game. Um, I was pretty into Supernatural until about a year ago. I still enjoy it. I'm just not really into the fandom as much anymore. Um, yeah, I, I feel the same way about Doctor Who. Yeah, I, I like Doctor Who as well. I'm just not super into it. Um, I very recently got sucked into the Gravity Falls fandom. Like, head first, just fell right into it. And of course, I have to jump in right as a big hiatus is starting, just, <laughs> just like me. That's just how it goes. Yeah, I've heard all sorts of really great things about Gravity Falls. Oh gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I, I could preach to the heavens about Gravity Falls for forever. <laughs> it's, just, it's a really interesting show, and if for a kid's show, it treats its audi- audience very smartly, and I appreciate that very much. It's well written, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on advocating for it. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> this is a plug. This is a plug. <laughs> Watch Gravity Falls. <laughs> Heck, we'll even do the uh, subliminal messages here. Watch Gravity Falls. Watch it. Watch Gravity it. Falls. Which is kind of funny because they do that kind of shit on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, they have um, they have a weird little backwards uh, whispered message at the beginning um, of almost every episode at the end of uh, the credits, which is a uh, cipher code. That way you can decode the little secret message at the end of the episode. So, fun fact. Mm. Gravity Falls is amazing. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, secret codes and such, I, I've noticed that Homestuck has... I uh, Well, back to the subject of Homestuck. Yeah. I've noticed that Homestuck has really uh, taught me a lot of really interesting, interesting skills that I would not have otherwise. Mm-hmm. Like, the ability to re- read lead speak. Oh, yeah, no. Um, the weird thing is, like, you, you, occasionally you get those things on, like, your Facebook wall, like, from your parents. They just yeah. kind of tag you in for no reason. It's like, if you can read this, <laughs> then, like, your IQ is really high, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, look, Terezi's talking to me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, like, you just read through it with absolutely no problem, because I'm so used to it by now. Uh, who is your least favorite character to read? Oh, um, just, like, to read, like, nothing yeah. about, like, actual personality. Oh, God, um... Doc Scratch is annoying. Yeah, uh, yeah. My tuna is almost impossible. To oh read. God, my tuna! I love my tuna so much, but I cannot read his um, his his like dialogue. Oh, Kangri is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it, it's all the sixes and the nines. You're just like, but okay, what does it mean this time? Also, because it's like a million miles long whenever he says oh, anything. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've actually I uh, talked to my brother about just seeing who can I. Uh, Continue reading before the other one just goes insane. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> um, I I think that's that'll just about do it for this uh this episode. I uh, I'd like to thank you for coming on to the show. Thank you for having me. It's uh, it's been fun and it's really interesting to be a part of something like this. Never done it before, so. Oh yeah, and I'd love to have you on the show again. You seem like a, a very interesting person, and. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd honestly love to do it again at some point. And I'm always advocating for people to do this themselves because it requires no work. <laughs> I mean, like literally, I have my laptop here, a microphone here. And we're, I, sit, we're sitting in front of a window in the um, in the union where the convention's going on. So <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it requires literally nothing. Anybody can do this, and heck, I, I would like to see a podcast that you would do. I mean, I think it'd be interesting. 
It definitely seems like something fun. <sighs> well, that wraps it up for uh, Cat Foley. I'm Jonathan Knoll, your, your Uncle Walrus. <laughs> and I am Cat Foley. Uh, what was it? Arch, Arch, Archduke, Archduke of, of awesome. awesome. There we go. Archduke of Awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is definitely my official title. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, stay tuned, folks. Enjoy. Bye. Walrus Cast is hosted by Jonathan Knoll. Our title music is Cephalopod Walrus Mix by Kevin McLeod and mixed by Jonathan Knoll. You have listened to a production of Radioactive Walrus Entertainment. Walrus Cast. This has been a production of Radioactive Walrus Entertainment. John, what do chickens say?